So it went down at Wild and Out Studios yesterday when Nick Cannon invited Azalea to come on the show. And then afterwards, she spent the day going off about how they made her cry because they were joking on her looks and skin tone. How she feels like it was planned because Nick hit her up last minute, told her she only had to perform and not participate in the freestyle battle. But once she got there, they got her. And the whole building laughed at her and only her even the beckys which hurt her feelings in other words she was the joke of the day keep in mind that this episode was just filmed so it will take weeks months even for it to air if they air it that is which i'm sure y'all really really want to see regardless and when someone said if you started crying i swear to god laughing my ass off she said i cried i wanted to go off but i couldn't too many from viacom there Mm. And someone else said, I mean, it's a roasting show, sis. You're too smart to believe that you were just going to perform on Wild and Out and leave. Like, you roast everybody in the industry and you thought they weren't going to get you? Come on, sister. And there's way more reactions where that came from. But she also went off verbally, so let's cut to there. Check it all out. You know what? I'm sorry. It's 2018. Like, you know, the ugly black girl jokes is like, you know, it's just, it's just, it's inappropriate. I'm sorry, you're not gonna bring me out of my fucking element to bring me to Dusty in Atlanta to sit in front of some fucking coon ass nigga for them to sit here and call me ugly while they got this fucking flatty patty Queen Herbie reject looking on stage talking about Wakanda reject. Like, what the fuck's going on? No rapping, no fucking resume ass flatty patty white bitch stands there and laughs. Like, what the fuck? Y'all niggas, y'all fucking minds? No, y'all niggas must really be down here in the fucking warehouses sniffing meth and having too much sex. Y'all niggas are out of your finds. Atlanta niggas. Or wilding out, or out of your cotton picking fucking minds. I'm sorry, there was not one dark skinned woman on that stage, and the I had in there were not fly. Like, not these flat tummy tea, lollipop, f booty popping ass, waist training, free pack of weed, mediocre Instagram. Sorry, but y'all brought me up there to like humiliate me in front of a bunch of mediocre light skinned women with no fucking resume, you know? Y'all niggas have half fucking resume too. You know what I mean? But like if I if I was really up there and I was like, all right, y'all niggas all in Atlanta, y'all probably DL'd and I'm And it's no shade. They be looking mad thirsty, like all in the cast members' faces. It's like, bitch, you know these niggas is only getting fifteen hundred dollars an episode. Like you should just like relax a little bit. You know, just like chill out a little bit, bitch. And it's like the girls be so thirsty, they really think they be getting it. Ah, they be on the side of the wild and out t-shirts with their little like makeup tutorial look on, like really thinking that they like, you know, they, they be thinking they in the spot. And I told the nigga, like, listen, you would never be able to bring Megan Trainer on this show and call her fat. Why? Because there would be some other white nigga to cut your check off. Don't try to make fun of me because you could do it for free, my nigga. You know what I mean? Don't bring me out here and call me ugly in front of you. You know, you could have went for flop. You could have been this. Oh, you wear too much weave. Oh, you did this. Oh, you never had a hit. Oh, ah, 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 ah. But, like, you're really just, like, really just calling me ugly the whole fuck time. And you got these fucking mediocre, nice skin bitches. Like, you're making them feel good about themselves by calling me ugly. And the crazy shit, it was like, little Yachty was on the show. You know, like, you, why, why y'all wasn't joking on little Yachty? Every joke was a zillion thing. It was mad people on the stage. Y'all not joking on little Yachty. It's like, y'all y'all not gonna play on the black nigga time, but y'all gonna play on the black girl time. It's really like, y'all can keep it, you know what I mean? Like, y'all can really keep that, like, keep all that shit. Like, uh-uh, I've had enough. Like, what am I now? I'm 27 now? Like, oh my God. Y'all niggas are not gonna drive me crazy for the rest of my fucking rap career. <laughs> Good night. No, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stay in my little corner of the industry. I'm gonna keep working with my white men, keep dating my white men, because I, every time I give y'all a chance, y'all just, y'all, y'all do me dirty. Especially like a bum ass nigga like Nick Cannon. Like, what the fuck is Azealia Banks doing hanging out with Nick Cannon? Like, honestly, what the fuck was I thinking?